Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The next 7 star terror raid event and mass outbreak event have been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details and when these events will be running in today's video. With the 7 star Hisuian Typhlosion terror raid coming to an end about the time of this video going up, we've had the announcement of the next 7 star terror raid and it is a definite curveball, not something any of us were probably expecting but it is going to be featuring Eevee and it will be happening later this week. We can check out all the details courtesy of Cerebi posting up all of the information just a couple of minutes ago about this new 7 star terror raid featuring Eevee and alongside it will be a mass outbreak event for Eevee as well. The event details that we've got at the moment, the event will be going live on the 17th of November and running across the weekend till the 20th of November. As it stands, it looks like it might be a standalone seven star terror raid. We normally see two phases of these seven star terror raids, but at the moment, it looks like it will be just running for this one weekend. Of course, if that changes, we'll update later on in the week if we get any more information. But as you can see, the next seven star terror raid battle has been announced for Pokemon Skull and Violet. This event will feature a battle against Eevee with the normal terror type and the mightiest marks. So that's pretty cool. It can only be caught once per save file as with all of the other 7 star terror raids. And like we mentioned it will run from midnight UTC on November the 17th through until 2359 UTC on November the 20th. So over that weekend. And alongside that not only are we getting the 7 star terror raid event for Eevee. We're getting a mass outbreak event for Eevee as well. So the mass outbreak event is being announced for Scarlet and Violet. This event will feature and focus on the Pokemon Eevee. And will feature outbreaks and Paldea and Kitakami featuring it. With the chance of getting the Jittery Mark, Intense Mark, Intellectual Mark or Flustered Mark in Paldea. Or the Rowdy Mark, Excited Mark, Calmness Mark or Unsure Mark in Kitakami. So a pretty cool event where we're going to get exclusively boosted odds for these different marks in particular areas that we're hunting. So you can see in Paldea we'll get a certain selection of marks. And then in Kitakami, you're going to get exclusively the other set of marks. So hunting in both locations for Eevee, primarily in both these locations that are going to be featured in these outbreaks. But they're going to have the increased chances of getting these respective marks per region that you're kind of hunting them in. Again, this event will run from midnight UTC on the 17th of November until 2359 on the 20th of November. So running the exact same time as the 7 star terror but all focused around Eevee for this coming week. But a very exciting event nonetheless, and a little bit of a side step away from the starter Pokemon that we generally normally see for the seven star Terrors. And to boot with that, we're getting that mass outbreak event as well. It's going to allow us to hunt for Eevees in particular in both regions with those specific marks a little bit easier. So a very cool event. Of course, we will do some best builds uh, as we do on the channel for most of the other seven star Terrors in the lead up to this event so do stay tuned for that later in the week of course let me know what your thoughts are more than anything down in the comment section below are you excited for this event i'm definitely looking forward to it because i was totally expecting the suian samurai after the suian typhlosion maybe not even expecting a seven star terror raid this week but nice to see that we've got one and a bit of a different one from what we normally see as well as alongside that mass outbreak event for eevee as well it's going to give everyone the opportunity to go out and hunt for eevee especially for those shinies making them very easy to obtain especially if you have a favorite evolution that you have in mind that you would like to get one of these specific marks on as well and i wonder if we can evolve the eevee that we do get from the seven star terror raid because that would mean that we can get one of the many evolutions that are available with the mightiest mark as well let me know though down in the comment section which evolution you would choose from your eevee if you do pick one up from the seven star terror raid and we can evolve it of course as soon as we do get more information on the event we will update you here on the channel this as this announcement has just come out this is very very fresh information but a very exciting one nonetheless if you've enjoyed today's video do drop a like and make sure you do hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of the latest pokemon skull and violet news as well as that best builds video when it does drop later this week of course, we will be streaming the event when it goes live this Thursday. So it'll be great to see you there if you are around for that to take part in this EV 7 Star Terror Raid event that will be happening later this week. Thanks for tuning in, friends. That's everything for today. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.